Hi YouTube, I'm Ayman. Today I'm going to show you how to move an undrivable car using vehicle dollies. So it's very simple to do this. We've actually done it before with uh, I think a Mercedes and our other Chrysler van. And with a Honda Accord it should be less weight so it should actually be easier. So it, go it should be simple. All you have to do is jack the car up first and then place the dollies under each tire. So I'm going to do that right now. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we finally got the dollies under, and we actually tried to push them. Now you can see from these scrape marks that we actually did push them up quite a bit, like two feet. Um, it's because we haven't used them in a while, it, they're a bit hard to push. Uh, also, uh, keep in mind that when you put the dollies under the tires, you're going to want to align the wheels in the way that you're going to push them. So we're trying to push them over there, so sideways. Um, however, if you're trying to push it diagonally, you're trying to angle the wheels towards that side or whatever, whatever direction that you're trying to do so. Now, some people might say that you could always just free the gearbox, push the car back, uh, and then uh, push it wherever you want to. However, that's only if you have enough space, like in a parking lot. If you're in a garage, then you're not gonna have enough space to do that. So that's why we're using the dollies. So on the back side, I might not be able to do it. You might need two people to do it, but I'm gonna try. Bear with me here, because I'm, really, I'm not really that strong. Well, I can see the wheels are moving. Okay. Alright, try it too. Ah, jeez. I definitely need two, two people to do this, but I, I, I can get it just a bit far. Maybe like half a foot. But that's progress. Alright, by the way, I should mention, these are Pittsburgh vehicle dollies. They're rated around 1,500 pounds per wheel. So that means if we have four of them in total, it should be 6,000 pounds, which should be enough to lift uh, most cars, uh, especially on concrete. Uh, so the reason that we're actually moving this car is because it's, as you can see, actually, you can't see, but it's getting cold. So as winter is setting in, more snow is going to be coming in. So we want to be able to push this to the side so that it's more convenient to be able to shovel all the snow around here because this is where I think there are going to be three cars one for my mom, one for my dad, and one for Asma so we're just trying to make sure there's a big enough space that's convenient to shovel so when we're done, we're going to take a picture of its final location which is over there and I mentioned earlier that uh, it would just be easier to uh, free the gear and then push the car backwards and then push it forwards to wherever you want using the steering wheel However, the reason we can't do that is there is no steering wheel. We actually removed it. So I guess that just leaves this option. <laughs> Alright, so we're here a few days later and we moved the car. Now, uh, sorry, I couldn't take a video on that day. It was cold and when we finally moved it, it was actually already night. So just one thing to note is that when you, when you move it, you want to make sure that it's on a surface that you to move it on. So like over there. Yeah, but over there, there's a sort of uh, puddle that made it really hard to move anything. So you can see all this indent right here. I think that's dried up oil or tarmac there. And because of that, it was hard to move the uh, wheel. So it actually took us, it actually took like three people, me, my mom, and my dad to move the car. And I think after that, we also had to move it backwards. Uh, when you're changing the direction of where you move, just remember to uh, move the change, move to change the wheels to go towards that direction. Uh, for some reason, they're towards us. I think my dad. I'm not sure how my dad did that, but uh, in the end, this is where it is. Now, this is a really light car, like three to four thousand pounds. So if you're, it's a really good uh, way to move a car if you're just looking for some ideas. Um, but it it does work with heavier cars like the our SUV. Um, it's around 6,000 pounds and we were able to move it. However, it's, it was a bit easier because we moved it on concrete, which isn't like with that puddle. So, if you are looking for ideas, you found, you found a really great method. and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Look at our videos on 99 and I guess that's it. See you next time. Signing out. Peace.